Now we are going to start a very important and very interesting topic of mathematics that is finding percentages. Alright. So if I ask you can you mentally find out what is 15% of 120 then what would your answer be? Alright, so I'm giving you 4 seconds and your time starts now. Your time is up. The correct answer is 18, of course. There it is. Now, let us first see the usual way of finding the percentages. But before that, let me tell you what percentages are. Now, the best part is that, that the word percentage itself says what it is. It is made up of two words, per and centage. That is out of 100. Centage is again coming from the word centum, which means 100. Like century has 100 years. So, percentage means out of 100. Okay. Once we have understood that, then calculating percentage would not be a problem. So, in order to find 15% of 120, all you need to do is write 15 over 100, isn't it? 15 out of 100 times 120. Now, just simplify it, cancel out this 0 here, this 0 here. Now, you have to find what is 15 times 12. So, either you can do it directly because 15 times 12 is 180 or you can use the faster technique here like 15 plus 2 is 17. And for the last digit, 15 times 2 is 10. So, it would be 180 over 10. Now, strike out this 0 and this 0. So, you are left with 18. And that is what the answer is. 15% of 120 is 18. But as you have yourself seen, that despite using the shortcut technique, calculating the usual way takes little time and effort. Isn't it? So, now let me show you the easy way, the faster way of finding the percentages. So, if you were to ask me what is 15% of 120, I will straight away say it would be 12 plus 6, that is 18. Alright, I am not going to do any calculation whatsoever. All I have done here is break 15% into two friendly parts, into two friendly numbers. So, 10% plus 5%, isn't it? Makes 15%. And finding 10%, 5%, 100% of anything is very simple using the decimal shifting trick of finding percentages. Okay. Now, before I teach you what is decimal shifting trick, you have to tell me what is the present position of decimal in 120. It is here. And this is equal to 100% because 100% of any number is the number itself. Like you go to a shop and the shopkeeper gives you 100% discount. Then what does it mean? It means that grab it because he's giving it to you absolutely free of cost. That is the entire amount he has discounted. Now, in order to find 10%, all you need to do is shift decimal one place to the left. So, 10% of 120 would be 12. Shift the decimal to the left. So, this makes it 10%. So, 10% would be 12. Using the same logic, if I ask you to find 1%, then it would be 1.2, isn't it? Putting the decimal here, it will become 1.2. So, I am sure this is very clear now. So, now tell me what would be 15% of 120. So, immediately find the 10%, it would be 12 and 5% would be half of that plus 6, that is equal to 18. Isn't that much neater way of doing it? Now, using the same logic, quickly find out what is 20% of 120. So, I am sure you have got the correct answer. It is 24 because 10% would be 12 shifting the decimal one place to the left and double of that would be 24, isn't it? 20 is nothing but 10% plus 10%. Always break it up into friendly parts, into friendly numbers. Once again, find out what is 110% of 140. So, break this into two friendly parts, 100 and 10. Now, you know that you do not have to find 100 percent. It is the number itself. So, it is 140 and 10 percent would be shifting the decimal one place. It would be 14 and 
140 plus 14 would be 144, 154, 154 is the answer. I have used the jumping 10 technique of addition. See, if you practice these easy cal tricks, I can assure you, you will be calculating so fast, so smoothly, your mind would be able to crunch the numbers without any effort. Now, you find out the percentages of these numbers. So, 95% of 1400. Ninety five percent is nothing but hundred percent minus five percent and hundred percent of fourteen hundred would be fourteen hundred the number itself. So five percent would be ten percent is one forty. So five percent is half of that, that is seventy. So fourteen hundred minus seventy is thirteen thirty. That's your first answer. Now look at the second one. Seventy five percent is nothing but fifty percent plus twenty five percent and fifty percent of four forty would be half of this that is two twenty, isn't it? And half of that that is half of fifty percent is twenty five percent. So half of two twenty is one hundred and ten. So adding two twenty to one hundred and ten it would be two thirty and three thirty using the jumping trick of addition. All right, so now look at this. Sixty percent. Sixty percent is nothing but right. Fifty percent plus ten percent. So fifty percent of three twenty would be one sixty, and ten percent would be thirty two. One sixty plus thirty two is one ninety two. So this is the answer. Okay. So this is the last example. Quickly find out what is twenty percent of one thirty two. 10% would be 13.2 and 20% would be double of that, that is 26.4. That is your answer. Now, I am sure you can easily find percentages ending in 0 or 5 for any number. So, now if you go to a shop and it is giving you a discount of say 15% on $320, you know that how much you have to pay, isn't it? How much? 